Welcome back to Saint and Stitching, where modern meets vintage. I'm Fawn. I'm Mary Ann. And as always, we are so excited to be here with you. This is episode 20. And if you're new here, we're so glad you found us. We talk about cross stitch, embroidery, soutache. Um, I'm going to talk about how I sewed a straight line today. So, you know, like we kind of hit all over the place. Uh, we like to show vintage. We like to show our haul. So if you're interested, stick around and yeah. Let's get to it. So Marianne, what are you celebrating this week? That fall is really in the air. I think I celebrated that last time too. But anyway, yeah, fall is in the air and Bryant had a good report at the vets on his teeth that he got cleaned. We wound up with him getting two pulled last oh, wow. year, two weeks ago. Yeah, yeah. I think oh. I may have told you the bill, you know, they told me, oh, and that's going to be a thousand dollars. Oh and he's such a reasonable vet too. Yes, well he is. Well, it, you know, both dogs went in for the cleaning and then this he had to do more surgery on Brian and more anesthesia and stuff. Oh. So yes. Thank you, American Express. <laughs> yeah, That's I know how that goes. So Wally we has love our vet. We love yeah. Dr. Abalagusi. Kusi. Abalagusi. West Side. Yeah, Vietnam. I can't say his name. I'm always like, Dr. A, thank you. <laughs> Wonderful guy. So yeah, we were back there today, so I'm thankful to everything. And Roscoe has a ulcer in his eye, but we've got the ointment going. He'll get that started again tonight. He better stay away from the raspberry bushes. So that's more than you wanted to know. So there you go. I'll, I'll turn it over to Fawn, y'all, where she can tell you what she is grateful for. <laughs> I'm just picturing, you said Roscoe likes the raspberries or Brian? They both do, but Roscoe's really out there with them. He Roscoe. jumps up. Yeah. I'm just imagining him like in the raspberry bush and then coming out and like all the pink all over him because yeah, well, he's a little white dog. So it's like, oh yeah. my goodness. The first time you saw that, I probably freaked out. <laughs> that happened with our dog Wolfie when he was, when we had him and we had oh had little goodness. bunnies in the yard, baby bunnies. And I thought he had killed one of the bunnies. And I was yelling at him and yelling at him. And it turns out, no, it was just raspberry all down this front of his face. Look, I'm just trying to eat fruit, okay? I know, I'm just eating, mama. I'm just eating raspberries. So, yep. It seems oh, Westies goodness. and raspberries go together. So you tell us what you're thankful for today. Well, I'm currently I'm now thankful for Westies and raspberries because that's the latest <laughs> I've got going on. But I'm also very thankful for my sewing machine and how I sewed in a straight line which if you go a couple episodes back, I think it was our project bag fail video where I tried to make project bags and they were not straight lines, I'll tell you that. <laughs> so to get a straight line on this blanket and have a blanket that I did in like 30 minutes, I was mm. so excited. So let me grab it real quick. Okay, you deserve to be excited. It's so big. Oh, it's so good, wow. I went to Joann's and they were having so they had 60% off their clearance fabric mm -hmm. and then an extra 30% off the 60% off. And then I had a coupon. So then I got 20% off the 30 and the 60% off. So this was super cheap. So I got <laughs> three yards of each. Oh, and wow. It's just a super giant blanket. <laughs> so here is. The one. Yeah. And the other side. Let's see if I can get it. Is llamas. Yeah, I like the llamas. I do. I like the other side too. Well, fine. You, do, you do know that a yard is three feet. You know that. So when you say I'm getting three yards, you know that's going to be nine feet. Is it nine feet long or nine yeah. feet? Long? Nine feet long. Yeah. yeah. It's nine okay. feet. I knew what I was doing. <laughs> I knew you did. Yeah, but I'm like, oh my lord. <laughs> yeah, she was like, oh, are you, are you going to make a tie blanket with it? And I was like, yeah, she's like, well, you only need a yard or two, like two mats. I was like, mm -hmm. nope, I want nope. three. I want a big blanket. <laughs> right, and you've got it now. And you can yes. see I have some more fabric here and uh -huh. there, three, uh -huh. four. But I I'm sure since I like did so good with it, I should just sort of not test my luck and have my good blanket and my good sewing experience and well, move on, which this... I can't really see. But look, it's Looks so good. straight. No, I'm super well, see, now you know you can do it. Why do I have a feeling there's a blanket in your daddy's future? 
he wants one. He wanted this one. I and know. He I knew it. wanted that I knew one. It. Uh -huh. And he wanted that one. And uh -huh. I like them both, all three of them too much. So sorry, Dad. Not going to happen. <laughs> Just get something he and your mother will both like. It's yeah, well, especially with, um, I think all of their, they're going to sort of start putting more stuff on clearance. I just have this yeah. feeling. And yeah. now that I like going to Joanne's and know where it is around here, I'll probably just stop in from time to time and see when they have something on clearance that matches perfectly, just like that one did. Sign up for their, I get their email or their messages from them. I'm always mm -hmm. getting one in that. They're now 75% off on stuff. Oh, I got okay. a message today for that. Mm. I get tired of the messages sometimes, but it lets me know what's going on. <laughs> <laughs> it's probably dangerous too. It is. <laughs> but yeah, my husband was out of town and so I was just like, I'm going to go to Joanne's and I was there for two hours. <laughs> oh, fun. Fun. <laughs> and so I was just like picking out all the fabrics and I got some more to make project bags because I'm going to try okay. again. Okay. Um, but I'll, sh I'll show those later when yeah. I actually make something. Okay. So, stitching. <laughs> you said you had a new start. I do. I do. Which is so exciting. I know. It's a little one. It's little bitty. We've had these. I bought these um, Mill Hill little kits. I, think I it's love Mill the Mill Hill, Hill kits. You know, it's the little, um, whoops, I've got, I've got my needles stuck in it, so it's dragging thread. Why do I have two needles attached to this? Hmm, that's odd. Okay. It's supposed <laughs> to be a sleigh and it's that's oh. a little westy right up here so of this is what is. i've got <laughs> stitched on it so that's my start and i don't know what it is about these things but i have been very it just looks tricky to me you know i'm not used to working on this it's i think it's a perforated paper but it's got a slick feeling to it but our friend Ann told, she got me all sorted out on this once up at Timeless Stitches because she told me to do this across the back so you find the middle exactly. Mm -hmm. And um, and it says do all the stitching before you do any of the beading. So for some reason, I'm just kind of dragging. No, Fritzy, that's not for you. That's <laughs> not for you. He woke up from his nap. Uh -oh. So I've been keeping it in this little box. And I, oh, this is what it's supposed to look like. Yeah, it's Mill Hill. That's, that's what it's supposed to look like. Oh, it's cute. Yeah, there you go. I don't know if it's going to or not. I'm going to try. <laughs> It'll and I've be got, great. I hope so. I've got two others uh, to do, all sleighs, and then I've got ghosts, too. So Joe Ooh. had been asking me, and I've been using the thing Heather gave us to put, mm -hmm. to set this on in case anything starts to spill, because we know how a certain kitten likes to get into <laughs> stuff. So there we go. That was my start. Yeah, and so the yes. easiest way to finish those mm -hmm. is Michael's has pre-sticky felt. Oh, okay. So you yeah. peel it on one side and just sort of stick it on. Usually I'll glue the the ribbon on it first. Okay. So okay. if you want to like actually have it yes, heated and or whatever it. you're going to yeah. do. And then mm -hmm. just stick the sticky felt to it and then okay. cut around it. Okay. And then you're done. Super Good. easy. Well, they kind of give you some instructions like that in their little booklet too. But I don't know why it is. It's confusing for me trying to do the stitching on this. And I know it's probably screwed up somewhere, but I don't care. <laughs> as long as it looks like it's supposed to. I I'm ready to get the it, beads on it. Yeah. yeah I, I think, think part of it too is when you're doing the mail hill kits, you're so used to seeing all four holes at once when you're mm -hmm. actually stitching. And I think with the mail hill, you're so focused on the one hole that you're coming up in yeah. that it's kind of hard to count where you're actually going with the next one. Thank you. That makes me feel better because that is exactly what's true. And plus, I tried to increase the size of the pattern as well with not a whole mm -hmm. lot of success. For some reason, our printer's doing a different routine now or something. Oh, no. <laughs> it used to be you could say 100% or 110, and for some reason, I can't get that to come up quite right. We'll see. It'll do it eventually. Yeah, because I've definitely done a Mill Hill kit and then realized if I didn't do the colors immediately next to and sort of work my way out, it was almost mm -hmm. off-counted a little bit. Yeah. So yeah, I think yeah. it's just the way those holes are, sh like, 
I think so. different. Well, it's gonna be fun when we get to the bead part because somebody's up now. No, leave this alone. <laughs> Why couldn't you just stay sleeping in the living room? That's what mom well, that's no fun. For too. I know. He got his <laughs> nails trimmed yesterday, thank goodness. <laughs> We had a productive day, P productive a couple days then oh, with all your pets. Yes. yes. <laughs> <laughs> um, so I have a whip. I have a new start, but it was also a new finish. So I'm going to hold off on showing it. Okay. But my current whip that I'm working on is, which I guess is redundant, my whip that I'm working on. <laughs> um, it's Cloud Factory Halloween Parade. Oh. Oh, cool. I am almost done with the skeletons. I have, a, I think, four more tombstones, some grass, and then I'll be totally done with that part. So then I have to finish the borders to come down. And then right here is, what was it? I think it's, I want to say it's Frankenstein and his bride. Yeah, probably. Uh, yeah, I think so. I think. And then there's I'm a house. I know there's a big house, and then there's two little cute candy corns. Oh, cool. So kind of getting there. For some reason, this has been really slow for me to stitch this yeah. section. Yeah. And I think even though there's not that much, I think it's all the different counting with the skeletons, and so it's not any big blocks of color. It's sort of like making sure everything's in line. But we're getting there, and I like it. Then I got the fabric that I'm going to finish it with. So. At least when I do finally finish it, which will be before October, I promise, <laughs> or before Halloween. I was going to say, we're in October now, last I looked. <laughs> <laughs> before Halloween. I, will have to finish and I plan to fully finish it because otherwise I don't want to work on this and then have to put it up next year. I want to at least yeah. up this year for a little bit. So I know. Come on, we're getting there. You want to say hi to phone? <laughs> Uh, and that is the only whip that I have. My goodness. I know. It was two weeks, and you think I would have had more active ones, but I guess I finished quite a bit. Oh, my goodness. Here's my honeybee hill. Almost finished. Almost. I still need to add my initial here, my initial here somewhere. Mm -hmm. The date or the year will be in here. And then up here is a big saying that goes something about the bees and stuff. So I've got mostly just wording to do now. And Joe said, well, he asked me, he said, well, isn't that, the house isn't finished. I said, yeah, it is. But you'll notice the odd angle here. Well, that's because this is supposed to be in a circle. So I Yeah, I was just that's reasoning gonna, that through right. in my head. I was like, yeah. I, I asked, said, well, oh, oh, no, that makes sense. I remember she's going to finish it in a well, box. <laughs> Fritzy, come on now. Let's, oh, Fritz, don't do that. <laughs> Hi, Fritzy. <laughs> don't do that. All oh, right. my goodness. Here, we'll say hi to everybody. Say hello. Say hello. He's so pretty. Yeah, he's a mess. He is pretty, though. <laughs> and then... Uh, I think that's, yeah, that's all I had to show as far as, I have been working on the sampler just a little bit. I got it out last night, the Susan B. And it's, um, I got one more little flower up in the upper border in, and I've been working on my words, but I think I showed those all last time. Those are so. big letters. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I didn't realize how big that piece was either. Well, <laughs> I feel like I say that every week. <laughs> It calls for doing it on, I think it was 30 or 32 count, and I'm doing it on 28. It's going to be a lot bigger. I told myself last night, maybe I should have done this one over one, you know, <laughs> instead well, of one, one over one. one is so hard. Well, I know, but it would be a lot smaller. <laughs> be like, Whoa. <laughs> I don't know. I, I don't know if I'll frame it or just make a pillow or what, but I've been working on that. And anytime we've gone out somewhere, shopping or Joe went to the dentist the other day. I take my Frank Lloyd Wright with me and I just do all the back stitching sitting there in the car. So and while he's saying hello. <laughs> Sean just came in and I'm like uh, trying not to like, oh my husband's home. But I also oh, like yeah. wanted him to be know that I knew he was here because I could oh, okay. feel him just like standing at the doorway staring at me. <laughs> they let him off early then. Good for him. Yeah. So hi Sean. Now that we hi, Sean. now that I've like reached my arm halfway through the frame. So Fritzy's Fritzy's waving to you. <laughs> I was waving to you. 
Yes. Oh, love mama. You look so sweet in that moment. <laughs> he can be. And now it's over. He has his moments. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Moment is over. <laughs> um, did you have any finishes? No. No. This is as close as I can get right now. You're this doing good, close. though. I uh, Thank you. I love the colors on this, too. It, they turned out brighter than I thought they would. Yeah, I just love that beehive, the top one. I think yeah. it's because it has a little bit of red on it. And I'm like, yes. Oh, <laughs> Uh, some lady posted this on, she had gotten all of hers done. She posted it on the Blackbirds Designs uh, group yesterday. And I thought about posting mine, but didn't. Uh, I tried posting it once before and they said the picture didn't come through. So I thought, well, I'll just wait and get it finished and then I'll do it. Yeah, then really wow them with it. <laughs> right. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. I Oh, I, was, I remember... I was going to ask you, when is the next um, Zoom call for the Susan B. Sampler? The 13th, I believe. Hold on. Let me double, <clears throat> let me double check. I think it's the 13th. Yeah, so we have a yes, Zoom call it's for any, anybody that is doing the Susan B. Sampler or is interested in it and just wants to pop in and chat. Um, Marianne hosts those, and I try to I try to pop in when I can. Uh, I missed the last one because I totally forgot. <laughs> well, that's okay. So thankfully, Marianne is on top of it. And if you're interested in that, we have a group on Facebook for the Susan B. Sampler Sal. And I think we talk about this every video. Yes. But if you're interested yeah. and want to come over, we would love to have you there. Yeah, we would. And I forgot to put it on my phone. <laughs> <laughs> I have it. I have it on Facebook, though. I will go double check. Uh, but I'm pretty sure I did. We were working on setting up times and we decided just to do one at a time because we started comparing notes on who would be able to do it. Well, don't worry. My niece forgot too. She had said, oh, I'll see you. And then no, Carrie. It's like, okay. So you didn't want to come. No, that's not the case. I forgot. I said, okay. Yeah, I think I saw your post the next day. You're like, we had such a good time. I was like, yes. oh, no. Yeah. And some people, I think, just forgot. You know, they met all good intentions, but um, that happens sometimes. Absolutely. Okay. Well, so I'll I've find got three. Finishes. Yes, it'll be October 13th. Perfect. <laughs> I better put that in my calendar. Excuse me, y'all, while I add this to my calendar. If I don't, I'm going to be in big trouble. So as you know, if you've seen our videos before, I am working on the Grimm's Fairy Tale Stitch Along by Clouds Factory. And I am actually up to date. I make it a point every single month to make sure that I finish it before the next pattern is released on the first of the month. And this month I finished September on the very last day of September. And I was so pleased because I was stressed. Like I was stressed. I didn't want to go past September and sort of lose my streak and but you know I got it done and we, it was Puss in Boots. I like that. And I just thought it was so different. I yes. like the grass. I like how you can really see the depth. Uh, it throws me off a little bit just how big the mouse is but I mean I guess the cat is huge. I think it's because the horse is so tiny then to have yeah. the giant cat and the giant mouse the yeah. horse looks like a toy but it's really pretty and so here is the whole thing wow you are zipping right along yeah so there's really not that much left and i was looking at the empty space here and trying to think how they were going to fit three more months in mm -hmm. and the october one is actually very small and yeah. so I, that made a lot more sense to me once I yeah. saw the new one. So I was like, oh, okay, we could fit three months in here. <laughs> oh, that's right. October's here now. I need to go out and get my October one. It seems like I just downloaded the September one. I know. That's why when you're doing the monthly stitch alongs, if you don't keep up with it or make a point to really keep up with it, they yeah. can really get away from you. And then it's kind of yeah. overwhelming to catch up because you have this mindset of, oh, I'm going to do it monthly. And I've got three months to do. It's like, I think that's how I feel with the peppermint purple style. So that is a black free black work stitch along. And I was doing 
pretty good with it. I got a couple blocks in right in the beginning of January. And then I missed like, because it was weekly, I missed three or four weeks oh, and then just, mm. yeah. And then I was just like, couldn't catch up with it. Yeah. Yeah. So I just, well, see, I haven't even blocks, started, like, I haven't even started <laughs> the Grimm's fairy tales yet. I figured I'd just get them all. I've got the fabric. I've got the threads. I'll just start it in January. <laughs> just yeah. go along you know <laughs> exactly and then you'll have the whole thing so if you want yeah. to start in the middle and just work your way out too right. then yeah. that'll be yeah 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 because i i'm thinking that as many clouds factories as you like to do i should buy stock in that company i'm telling I you know. <laughs> i keep looking they have the giant harry potter one and i keep staring mm -hmm. at it so one day i'll get it oh they do uh, i'll mm -hmm. wait till they have a sale so yeah <laughs> oh me oh me so then I have a new start and a finish, which is a just non candy corn mouse. Oh, and here he is. Oh, look. Oh, it's his boot. <laughs> but candy corn colored whiskers, a candy corn charm. Oh, and man. these were supposed to be stitched, but I had enough orange beads left, so oh, yeah. I have the crows actually holding beads, oh, which I, I thought like was kind of cool. Yeah. Where'd it go? <laughs> you're, just, you're just gin and cotton with those man mice. Really I know. Are. And so the first one, when I like actually stitched it together, and mm -hmm. it took me hours to figure out how to make this stupid mouse. <laughs> And then the second one was a little faster. And then this one maybe took me 20 minutes from start to finish to actually oh, put, put it, it together. together. And that's while I was talking the whole time too. So I was very satisfied. And now I have a start and a finish. And this was actually my birthday start. So my birthday was this past weekend, which Marianne knows because she sang me this beautiful happy birthday from <laughs> the in the morning. It was awesome. I still have that recording. It was <laughs> It's perfect. <laughs> Thank you, sweetie. And um, I was like, oh, well, people do birthday starts, right? So I need a birthday start. And I know for birthday starts, people usually will have a bigger project that'll sort of take them the whole year that they hope to get done by their birthday. Yeah. But this yeah. little guy was just calling to me. And I felt, I guess I just felt like I needed to feel accomplished. Mm -hmm. And this definitely made me feel accomplished. I'm sorry, I turned away for a minute there. Joe and the dogs just got back home from a walk and he was having a hard time getting the leash off and he looks like he's ticked off at them for something. So that means oh, no. they probably didn't behave as well as they should have. They were trying to get the raspberries. <laughs> yeah, did y'all drive Danny crazy or something? It'll be a short trip. but <laughs> That's what my daddy always used to say. You're driving me crazy and it's going to be a short trip. <laughs> You say that all the time, too. <laughs> I feel like every Zoom meeting we're in, I hear that. <laughs> so I'm like, oh, Marianne's got it. <laughs> there you go. Woo, I'm getting all pink. Woo -hoo. Okay, it's not even hot in here. I love your mouse. I love your mouse. Um, you. For those of you who want to see some of Vaughn's other works, as well as our needle arts, you know, she put the link in our um, last thing, I believe, for our show, our virtual show. I'm hoping people are enjoying it. We have also have it up on our website now. It's, oh, um, yeah, at the Needle Arts Guild of Toledo's website. You go under show info or something and it's there. Awesome. I'll have to check that out on there. Yeah, see what you think of that. <laughs> <laughs> so then the last finish I have, I am so proud of, which I have to say, I'm more proud of this than I am of stitching a st straight line on my blanket. So, you know, that's like really saying something. Whoa. Whoa. And this is Delicate Matters by Amy Sweet McNamara of Amy Runs with Scissors. And so this is a class I took with ANG, which is, I want to say the American Needle Art Needle Skills. Art skills. Yes. And I have my finished necklace. Oh, look at that. I've seen the picture before, y'all, but this is oh. even better. Look and at that. And when it's in the sun, like that purple in the middle. Is that a skull really on the fun. bottom? Yeah. It's a skull. Oh, okay. Joe, yep. look at this necklace she made. That's the one I showed you the smaller mm. picture of. Well, he's back in the camera now. Don't mm. let him scare y'all. <laughs> Yeah, I just, the skull is so me, 
the whole thing is like kind of spooky, kind of not. Oh, and man. so it was, oh, it's really swinging here, but it was different. <laughs> it looks so hard yeah. when you look at it. But when you're reading through Amy's directions and her videos, and each step just makes sense. And so I did this, no problem. I got the fringes on, no problem. Hey, I meant to tell you, I saw one just like that, except it used arm bones. <laughs> it, was, it was really humorous. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> He's leaving now. <laughs> Hi, Joe. <laughs> is really humorous. Oh, God, help us. Oh, I love it. I love puns so much, though, so I really appreciate that, to be quite honest. Oh, well, good. He'll be happy to know that. No, that is really beautiful work. So yeah, and so I had to make some changes. I ran out of the gold beads, and I'm not sure if that was just because I put too many beads on the side here, okay. or, well, I'm sure I just used too many, or Wally stole them. But that meant I had to make some changes on the chain. And so this charm right here mm -hmm. was one of the options that you could put here. Oh, so instead okay. of doing the flowers, I could have put this on. But then mm -hmm. when I was making the chain, I had, all, I had the extra beads. I was like, well, they're really pretty. Mm -hmm. And I have no idea where else I'm going to use them. So I decided to put them there instead. Mm -hmm. And so it was supposed to be... Oh. Those beads. And so a little bit less dramatic, but I actually really like the no, change. No, I like it. No, I like that. I, I don't feel like it takes away decision. from it at all. No. And in fact, I like the white from the flowers down here. And then that carries more of your color up into the chain itself. No, I think that's a good idea. Exactly. And I thought if I had put this here instead yeah. of the flowers, then the skull was going to look out of place. Well, that's what I was going to say. You've got that white complementing the skull, too. Yeah. And I then know, I think really, that was a good idea. Yeah, and what was really fun, too, was the fringes. She gives yeah. you ideas, but she doesn't give you the exact thing to do. Uh -huh. And so I kind of had fun making oh. up, laying them out, and trying to figure out what I wanted to do, yeah. and then being really satisfied with the end. So... As you'll well, see in my haul, I really like Sutash and already have two more kids. So, you know, okay. stay tuned for that. <laughs> and Marianne here is just trying to figure out how to bead with the Mill Hill small kit. <laughs> You've taken a Sutash class before, haven't you? No, I have not. No. Oh, you didn't take that one? Because I know she came in and taught at our guild and it was... No, I, I decided that was something, in all honesty, it just didn't grab me. You gotcha. know, it's just, I think they're beautiful. And then Marilyn took it, and Marilyn's been just chugging along and doing her own designs. Yeah, her stuff is so good. And so I'm just <laughs> waiting for phone designs to come out as well. I just give you, give you one more time or two, and you're going to be, oh, well, I decided to do it this way, and this is my new design here. And, oh, I know. Uh, I was looking at the... Um, the center bead that you use, it's, I want to say a cabuchon is how you're supposed to cabuchon. say it. Cabuchon, yes. Cabuchon. And so when I was in Joanne's looking at fabric, I wandered into the bead aisle and I was like, uh -oh. oh, that would make a nice centerpiece. Oh, that would be a nice centerpiece. Yes. Yes. And I was like, no, There's, we have to leave. We already bought fabric. No beads. <laughs> There's a beading store, I think up in Ann Arbor, that's okay. supposed to be really good. Um, Marilyn might could tell you, I know she's been ordering things online too, but I think there's one in Ann Arbor that's supposed to be. Maybe oh, Donna Gotts might know. And then um, Sue Weimer's daughter, Elizabeth Freeman, who's in our guild, has started her own business. I don't know that she's getting to, but she got very much into Sue Tash also and has done some beautiful designs. So you might want to touch base with her and just ask her about where she gets some of her stuff and tell her how much you enjoy it because she really has done some, she's selling the jewelry. Wow. You know, she makes it and has been able to sell it. Yeah, I just, I loved it so much because I lost myself in it. Yeah. I yeah. would look up and it'd be like three hours later and Sean would come home and I didn't hear him come home. Like I was just so focused and yeah. usually that, that doesn't happen to me with many things at all. Well, so you like, found okay. something you really enjoy. 
Exactly. We can flow with this. We got to get a new kit. <laughs> there you go. There you go. So did you get anything over the last two weeks? Uh, nothing. No, no new fabric or anything. I don't think. Okay. No. I just started something. I thought that was <laughs> that was amazing. <laughs> that is amazing. And I started it's something and almost I need to get more of the things out that I've kitted. I need to start some more. But Anne told me she said, "No, don't rush yourself. You've got enough things going. You need to get to finishing too." So yeah, gotta, just do whatever's calling to you. Yeah. If well, you want to start something, then start it. If you want to, I told. Finish, uh, finish. Well, I told Denise Waterfield the other day. I said the. Um, and Honey Bee Hill is calling to me, has been calling to me this week. And she said, well, you have to go where your needlework's calling you. I exactly. said, yes, you do. <laughs> and so this, I've really, I've been sitting up at night working on it, but I've also been back to doing some knitting at night. I owe Joe a scarf. I've been, I'm only halfway through with the scarf. Nice. You have to show that with, on your next, our next video. Oh, I will. I will. It's very colorful. It's blue and red. Yes. So. I'm interested. Yes, I do have some vintage to show you today, but that's, uh, that's, a, that's I'll it. run through my haul. Yeah, and you do. Yeah. Vintage. yeah, no, do your haul. I like always seeing what you've got. <laughs> so my husband's always like, oh, more stuff came in. I was like, you like it. You cross-stitch. Like, that's that right. You like it. <laughs> Joe likes it because it keeps me quiet and out of, the, out of his way sometimes, you know. Yeah, Sean <laughs> likes it because he tries to steal it. So like, I let's know. be I know. <laughs> So I got my September Be Stitch Me Fabric of the Month, which I think has been long enough that I could show it. So it's not going to okay. surprise anybody if they're waiting for it. And so this is an 18 by 27 piece of 28 count linen in the color Ooh. pumpkin pie. Ooh. And that looks just like the piece that I have. Oh, wow. And like, they that give is you, not pumpkin pie. <laughs> they give you uh, quite a bit of um, fabric in that too, don't they? I mean, it's not a small. Yeah, you, you can choose how big you want it and you can oh, get okay. it as small as 18 by 21 uh -huh. or as big as a whole yard. Oh, wow. Okay. And so oh, according to her it. color or her tag, she has Ada Lugana, yeah. Jobelin Linen, Even Weave, and Opalescence. Mm-hmm. And she ranges from 14 count to 32 count. Oh, okay. So when you go on her website, you can sign up for Fabric of the Month. You can yeah. pick all the different uh, color varieties you want. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And then you can say if you want the neutral, if you want the color yeah. club. Oh, okay. um, and I think I always sign up for the full color option. Well, which really I pulled this out of the package and I was like, oh my goodness. <laughs> That's bright. It's that so is. vibrant, and I have no idea what I'll stitch on it, but I'm very happy to have it. You know, you know like one day you'll just see that one project that's perfect yeah. for it, and you'll know exactly what you want. Well, it almost looks like you could outline the design that's on there. I mean, it looks like a design on there. The yeah. way she, the you know, it's almost like you could go through and just outline. This looks like a flower right here to me oh, sitting yeah. here. This looks like a flower or a bird in flight, kind of. Yeah, I kind of see a yeah, fancy right there. goldfish. Hmm? I see a fancy goldfish yeah. with the really big yeah. fins. Yeah, that would be beautiful. Yeah, there you go. So who knows, because maybe it'll turn into a weird embroidery piece. <laughs> oh, and I meant to tell you, since you're talking about haul and stuff, no, Fritzy, leave stuff alone, would you please? I l figured out how to pronounce, I looked up the pronunciation for the thread we were looking at, the it's Etoile Moulin. Mm. Etoile Moulin. Thanks, Fritz. I just watching him slide down the books. <laughs> yep. Yep. Well, excuse me a moment. I'll just leave them there for now. It's Joe's stuff. I tell him to put it away, but you know, I don't get listened to all the time. <laughs> There's my smile. <laughs> I'm not even going to get in the middle of that. Yeah, don't. Um, <laughs> We've been married too long, don't. <laughs> so then I finally got my order from Inspirations Magazine, which I ordered two kits. And Inspirations Magazine is out of Australia. And I ordered it, I want to say it was like March or April. So it's been a really yeah. long time. But, you know, 2020. And they had some of the pieces were on back order. But I finally got them. 
So the first one is Forest Floor, and it is a stump work kit. Oh, cool. And so the mushrooms yeah. and the leaves will all be raised. Yeah. And the berries themselves are little beads, which mm -hmm. I'm really excited to make a berry out of just a bunch of beads. Yeah. And so cool. The kit it comes in a nice box. Yeah, I thought it was very well packaged. Yeah. I've decided I'm going to tell Jill I just want boxes for Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> I wind up using the different boxes she gives me something in for other stuff. And uh, it'll be kind of hard to show because it's all sort of stacked on, it yeah. on each other. But it gave me all the fabric that I needed as well as ooh, all oh, the cool. floss. Look at those colors. Oh, that's yeah, so pretty. So the these two are Gloriana hand dyed silks, I believe. Yeah. And they're so Very soft nice. and so yeah. shiny. So I'm really excited. But I also haven't started this yet because I'm really intimidated by stump work. So I've never done that before. I have no idea what I'm doing. And it just it feels really before. intimidating. So. It's I haven't started. <laughs> there's, there's a lot of people in Guild that I've actually done it too I, with a Jane Nicholas thing, my flowers, my two flowers. I had never done stump work before. You, It's going to be real easy for you. It really okay. is. You just, uh, you just get the little pattern. You wind up cutting out stuff that you've stitched on something else. You transfer okay. your pattern to some fabric that it doesn't Maybe it's just a plain muslin or something, but you do your stitching on that and then you cut and you put that on wire. You stitch it on the wire usually, and then you cut that out. And that's what you then place on your fabric that you've got some regular stitching on and then the stump work is what stands out. Okay. Yeah, that makes it sound a lot less intimidating. <laughs> if I can do it, you can. <laughs> Believe me, if I can do it, I know you can, phone. You'll do real well with it. And you've got a lot of people that can help. Karen, Sue Weimer has done mm -hmm. her piece that's in the show, in the exhibit, I'm trying to get used to calling it an exhibit, is that box with all the stump work on oh, the yeah. outside and stuff. She does beautiful work. Yeah. Yeah, I think I just need to sort of tell myself that I can't mess it up and it'll be fine. No, and then like just sort of dive in. Yeah. So then the next one, because I was ordering from Australia, I didn't want right. to just send one project by itself. Mm -hmm. And so I got Into the Forest, which is a tree stump pin cushion and it is also a stump work piece. Okay. Cool. Mm, I just thought that was so pretty. See if I can get this one open too. Yeah, see how those leaves are on the outside? See the leaves that go around it? Mm -hmm. All of those, what you've done is that what's making them shape like that is there's wire there. And you stitch oh, yeah. over the wire. You're stitching mm -hmm. on fabric that you've attached the wire to. You stitch the wire down and then you stitch over it. Gotcha. But you're holding the wire down only in a few places, but you stitch over that wire and that's what you can then do that shape to it and stuff. And then you can bend it and everything. That makes a lot more sense. Yeah. Does that make sense as I'm pointing at all this stuff? But that's yeah. what it is. You'll be able to do that. That's, that's going to be easy peasy for you. Yeah. Well, I'm glad you have good faith in me. <laughs> I do. And then let's see Ooh. if I can do this without them falling out. Oh, I love the colors. Yeah. yeah. You don't like green, do you? You don't like no, green, do you? It's not my favorite. You don't like green, <laughs> do you? <laughs> and let's see. These are a couple of my favorite colors in here. Yeah. And these are Kakunda threads. Okay. And it's thick silk, hand dyed in Australia. Wow. I love that lavender, the lilac and the lavender. Oh, look at that. Yeah, the you green. like you like purples and such, and I love this green. It's got some orange in it. It looks like and a little bit of lavender. Yeah, some it's love. got like a light peachy pink. Yeah. In it. Yeah. Okay. Um, 
That's just so pretty. Oh, it is. So that one, I, I feel like this one's less intimidating than the mushrooms. Well, so I'll probably start, start with, with this one. one. Yeah. Start with that one. And then I think because this one has less stump work to it, whereas the mushroom seems like so big. So it's just a taller piece of wire. It's just a longer piece of wire. That's how to think of it. Yeah, don't yeah. Look, don't look for, don't look frustrated. <laughs> I'm already like, stressed about stump work. <laughs> you're looking at me like, yeah, old lady. Yeah, okay. I'll think about this. Oh, but well, it's still intimidating. Yeah. So. Yeah. Okay, I'll believe you. Maybe. <laughs> yeah. And so then the last two things I got were the sutash that I mentioned, mm -hmm. and so these are coordinating pieces. And so the first one is the blossom pendant for a new. And that's what it'll look like. Oh, I should have took this out of the bag. That's okay. That's pretty. Yeah. But I got a different colorway. So I am doing it in treehouse. Ooh. Yeah. So I thought that felt very fall. Yeah. And since I'm probably going to finish them this fall, I yeah. wanted something. And that was also seemed kind of different. And so then I got the earrings. Oh, cool. Which will match. Yeah. I can do this. I can't see anything. <laughs> cool. Yeah, well. so I'm really excited. I'm not sure if I want to start the earrings first or the necklace. I guess we'll just have to reach in and see which one comes yeah. out. <laughs> Whatever floats your boat, you know. Yeah. <laughs> So then the only, we have vintage, and then the last thing we have besides that is our giveaway from our last video. Okay. So let's take it away with vintage and well, give my throat a break. <laughs> you know, we've had ladies' uh, handkerchiefs before, and I got to thinking about, I have one. My great-grandfather died in 1951, and here is one of his handkerchiefs. Oh, wow. Isn't that bright? Mm -hmm. And then... Joe found two of his dads the other day. This is his dad's. His father was in the Army in World War II. So there you go with Army Green. Yeah, definitely. And then here's one that's just kind of a jazzy sort of handkerchief with the plaid. Nice. And uh, he went through some of his family's pictures. And here's his mother in that sweetheart neckline of a dress oh, so with pretty. a large necklace. And this was taken on the 19th of December, 1946. Wow. So she sent that to his dad. Here's another one of his, y'all are getting to see vintage Fougere here. This is his <laughs> grandfather Fougere with his daddy, who was Julian Fougere as a baby. Can you see that okay? Yeah, yeah. So that's some of our, this is his daddy, who's in the middle, the tall one, and his two brothers. His brother, Philip, is, his daddy is the tall young man in the middle. Let me there get you it go. kind of right there. And then his Uncle Phil is the next to the tallest, and then his Uncle Donald is, all, is the little one. And I don't <laughs> know, this is taken, oh, it says early 1920s to 26, their house on 700 EB, whatever that is. But they, they lived up in Iron Mountain, Michigan. The UP, y'all, the UP. Yes, all Here the is, way up. Yeah, all the way up there across the Mackinac Bridge. This is his grandfather and his mother, his mother's daddy. And this is him in his World War I uniform. I love the pants. A little girl. <laughs> Yeah, when I first showed it, showed it to Fawn, she said, well, look at those funny pants. I said, that's his soldier's outfit. It's <laughs> that's what they nice want. looking. <laughs> I know, but it looks different. You know, it's not what yeah, you're used to so seeing. Yeah, it's so tapered at the ankle. I think yeah, that's what it, it is. Well, it's, it is. It tapers down. You're right. It's kind of what it, what it was, was it was like the pants, and then it's almost like a boot. Oh, it's that a, makes more it's sense. It's fabric. It's a, it's a covering for their boots. It's like a fabric when I look at it closer. And they all wore, but they were more like, a, you think of jodfers for horse riders. Mm -hmm. You know, this is what the design reminds me of is you see somebody riding a horse. They've got on their pants that are narrower at the bottom. 
And oh, this yeah. is one of his mother, it says, this is his mother and his, her sister at their camp. They had a camp further up in the UP where people would go fishing and hunting. And it says the morning after, note the woozy looks. So they're just sitting out in the field having something on the morning <laughs> after, and his mama's in the light colored sweater. So I don't know what year that is, but they were young women at the time. So probably the early 20s. His mother was some um, widow during World War II at the first part of the war. And then mm -hmm. and dad served up, Fritzy, we don't need you making noises, thank you. His daddy served up there on the Bering Sea. Oh my gosh. Army, and up in Alaska. But they, I don't, I don't, they weren't married at that time. Uh, he, she, mar they married, um, I guess, in the late 1940s, yeah. Wow. Joe's, Joe was born in 54, and his uh, sister was born, I think, in 52. But he has an older brother and sister from her first marriage. Gotcha. So, yeah, the Bering Sea, that sounds happened. really intense. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <Yikes>. <laughs> I know, the Bering Sea, yes, uh-huh. It was cold. He was a, he helped, I think I've told you this before, it's real quick. He was a cook. He helped do the meals. Mm -hmm. So he had a recipe for how to make 400 chocolate chip cookies. Oh and gosh. one day he decided when Joe was a little boy, he was going to make chocolate chip cookies, but he had to figure out how to reduce the recipe. <laughs> how to not make 400. <laughs> From 400 down to, you know, two dozen maybe. <laughs> oh my gosh. That's amazing. So that's I mean, if I you know. want to go make 400 cookies, that's fine by me. So Yeah, well, I don't know where the recipe is. <laughs> I'll um, have to ask Joe what he did with it. Yeah. Yeah, I would love to see what 400 cookies looks like. Oh, God, I know. Um, so then the last thing we have is our winner from last week. So we are giving away this Lizzie Kate chart called Boo Squared. Mm -hmm. And the winner is Fran Cohen. So Fran, we're oh, so excited nice. that you get this. Yay! Um, our email is below. It is sanctumstitching at gmail.com. So Fran, send us an email with your address and we will get this out to you right away. Yay, and Fran. that's just yeah. such a pretty chart. That is. It's perfect for this time of year. Exactly. So hopefully it'll get to her before the end of October for sure. Yes. We'll keep our and with apart. that, I don't think we have anything else to cover this week. So nope. we, as always, are so glad to be here with you. We will be back in two weeks, roughly, with our next video. In the meantime, comment below. Let us know if you have any questions, if there's something you want us to go into greater detail about, or if you're just liking the episode. We love to read those comments and we always respond or at least give a heart because every comment really does deserve the heart. Yes, it does. Um, but yeah, so this was yeah. episode 20 and we will see you soon. Bye. Bye, y'all.